Hello students. Now, today we are going to read another chapter from the novel The Adventures of Tom Sawyer. It is another legend chapter. Now, in this chapter, what we are going to do, what we are going to read is that. Now, once there was a point that Tom was not feeling well, he stopped doing his mischievous thing. And that's why Aunt Polly got, you know, got tensed at why, what happened to Tom and why he is not playing, why he is not taking interest in things he liked to do. And he thought, I, she thought that might be Tom is ill and she need to, she need to trigger him that you have to do it. And she was trying his best. She was trying her best. She was trying different medicines. She was trying new ideas on him so that Tom can feel better. And what were those ideas? Now, this is a kind of really funny story. What all did she try on Tom? Let's read and find out. Open, open your book, page number 49 and let's start reading the chapter. In between, I am also going to explain you the chapter. So page number 49, chapter number 7, Aunt Polly and Naughty Tom, second chapter. Tom was not feeling well. He could not sleep as well as he used to. He could not eat as much as he used to. He did not want to run away from school. Sometimes he did not want to play. He was troubled and sad. The boy is ill. Aunt Polly thought, I must not give him, I must give him some medicine. Now what happened? Tom was not feeling well some, for a few days, since few days. He could not sleep well as he used to sleep uh, for a long time. He was not eating as much as he used to eat and he did not had an urge to bunk classes from school. He did not want to play anymore though he was very naughty but he was not into his naughty things anymore. So this made Aunt Polly a bit tense that what happened to the boy, why he's not taking interest in the things he used to do that, he used to do and he, why he is sad, why he is looking obnoxious, why he is looking very tensed and anxious and all that. So she thought, I think the boy is ill. And he thought that I must, she thought that I must give him some kind of medicine so that he should feel better. Aunt Polly knew all kinds of medicines and their effects. She had many books on this subject. Her newest idea was, now the newest idea is a bit funny and you will find that it is a kind of torture she was doing on Tom. When a boy got ill, he must bathe in cold water every day. So every morning, she made Tom stand outside in the yard. She threw ice cold water over him. After that, she wrapped him, she wrapped him in a wet sheet and made him lie in the bed. Now, she was kind of a doctor at home, right? You know, the old ladies who, who used to do the home rem, homemade remedies try homemade remedies so she was having lot of books on medicines and she thought let me try these medicines on Tom so it was a kind of experiment going on Tom so there was a new idea she came across and the idea was to bathe him with ice cold water and then wrap him in a wet sheet and after that what she used to do she made to she made him lie into the bed but let's see what happens with this idea what were the uh, results of this idea he got worse tom did not get better but he got 
worse there was no change in his condition but his he got worse his his sickness got worse aunt polly tried a new idea now there was another a new idea there was and what was it now she threw hot water over him instead of cold that did not help tom either now instead of cold water she tried hot water but that was also not helping tom anymore this time aunt polly heard about a new medicine now there was a new medicine that aunt polly heard about it was called pain killer and the name of the medicine was pain killer it had the taste of fire now you can say that mark twain has written this line it had the taste of fire so we can all imagine what kind of taste taste it must be having worst taste ever at the same all the same aunt polly made tom drink it now all the idea she tried on tom just like that she made tom to try this one also and she you know made made a sure that he must drink this medicine three spoons full after each meal now we can imagine that medicines you know taste so worst and she was making tom to drink three spoons after meal now that was a real torture tom hated it when his aunt was not looking he quickly poured the medicine into the hole in the floor now when obviously even we don't like medicine how can tom a little boy like that torture medicine which was ta which tastes like fire so what does what did he do when his aunt was not looking at him he just poured the medicine into a hole which was there on the floor tom was busy doing this one day when the cat came in now one day he was doing the same thing he was pouring the medicine into the hole on the floor and suddenly there came, there was a cat who came in the room tom poured some of the medicine into its mouth now as i told you tom was a very naughty boy so what did what did he do he took a spoonful of the medicine and poured into the mouth of the cat at once it jumped into the air as soon as the cat drank the medicine it jumped into the air so high it started dancing on its hind legs it rushed about the room breaking everything in its path and what happened as soon as the cat drank the medicine it jumped high it was rushing here and there it was dancing on his leg on its leg she was it was you know running around all the room and breaking each and everything whatever coming to its way like you know dancing like a mad cat it ran about as if it were mad tom laughed and laughed it was a long time since he had laughed so heartedly now what happened seeing the condition of the cat tom had a great laugh he laughed he continuously he was laughing continuously and he was laughing a lot he was laughing loud aunt polly heard the noise and came rushing into the room when aunt polly heard the noise of breaking things and laughing of tom from the room she came she heard the noise and she came into the room fast what's the matter tom could not give any reason for laughing when when aunt polly asked him well, what's the matter why are you laughing so much i heard your voice coming out of the room and why are the things are breaking why what happened in, to this room what's the matter but 
Tom was laughing and he had no answer for his laughing. At last, he pointed to the cat and said, Look, look at the cat. And finally, he controlled his laugh and said that, Aunt Polly, just look at the cat, what had happened to her? What's the matter with it? Have you been giving it that medicine? Now Aunt Polly asked in amazement that, what's the matter with the cat? Have you given some medicine to her? And then, I don't know, said Tom, still laughing and laughing and laughing. He was just continuing, continuously he was laughing and said, I don't know what had happened to him, what had happened to her. I didn't give any and he was not answering that question that, has he given any medicine to her? Aunt Polly saw bottle of painkiller, the spoon and a saucer. She guessed the truth. But doesn't matter that Tom answered the question or not. But Aunt Polly sensed the truth that when she saw the painkiller bottle, when she saw the spoon, when she saw the saucer over there, she guessed, she sensed the truth that it is true, it is the scene is that the Tom has definitely Tom has given the medicine to the cat. Tom expected his aunt to be angry and then when Tom realized that Tom, Aunt Polly has realized, has guessed the truth that I have given the medicine to that cat, Tom thought that now Aunt Polly is going to angry on me. To be, to his surprise, she was only thoughtful but unlike his thought aunt polly was not angry aunt polly thought aunt polly stayed calm and thought something and what did she thought if not a medicine for cats she said perhaps it is not a good medicine for boys she thought if the if it is not a good medicine for animals, perhaps might be it is not the good medicine for the boys, for the human beings also. You know, when doctors, when you know scientists, they do experiments in the lab for any kind of medicine, they first experiment it on animals. And if it gets successful, then it gets experimented on human beings. So she realized that if the medicine is not good for the animal, the, this medicine is definitely not good for the boys. You need not to take it anymore, Tom. She said, now Tom, the medicine is not good for you and you need not to take it any more of it. This was a good news for Tom. He began to feel better. And now when Tom heard this, that now he need not to get, get into more torture and he did not need to drink more of the medicine, he automatically, he began to feel better and he again got, get back to his notorious things. So this was the end of the chapter. I hope you like this chapter very much. Again, this was a very interesting story from the novel. Thank you. And now we are going to continue with the word meanings and the exercises. Okay, so let's start word meanings. The first word is yard. Yard, an area adjacent to a building that means an area which is just nearby the building it is a part of a building it is not different from the building heartily heartily means with enthusiasm and enjoyment that means something which you are doing with lot of energy with uh, with full energy and with full enjoyment you are doing it you are just enjoying the uh, doing the work Guessed. Guessed means concluded without being sure. That you are not sure but you have just guessed something. You are not sure about it. You have just concluded it. 
expected expected means thought or hoped you are thinking something that it might happen or you are hoping something that it might happen so this that is known as expected now open page number 51 and we are going to do tick the correct option so open page number 51 exercise a tick the correct option tom did not want to run away from school because now why did why didn't he wanted to run away from the school option a he liked his school no ways naughty boy like tom he liked the school never b he was not feeling well or c he wanted to study what was the reason that he was not running out from his school yes the option is right you are right option b he was not feeling well so write down cut tick the correct answer he was not feeling well question number 2 Aunt Polly knew all kinds of dash A medicine B dresses or C food what did she knew she knew all kinds of medicine so option A medicines question number 3 Aunt Polly heard about a new, what did she heard about a new dash? A. Book B. Cat or C. Mouth of the or C. Medicine what, she, what did she heard about? Book, cat or medicine? Right, the answer is right. C. Again, medicine. Four. Tom poured some medicine into the where did he pour the medicine into the a bowl b mouth of the cat or c mouth of the dog where did he pour the medicine right the answer is b mouth of the cat so b mouth of the cat now question number 5 Tom expected his aunt to be what did he expected what did he hoped that when aunt Polly is going to when aunt Polly come to know that I have poured the medicine into cat's mouth how she will react a she'll be angry b sad or c happy right the answer is a angry so the first answer is b he was not feeling well a second answer is a medicines third answer is c medicine fourth answer is b mouth of the cat and uh, answer of question number five a angry now move let's move upon exercise b so exercise b is fill in the blanks i'm going to read the fill in the blanks and then I'm going to write down the answers but you also have to try it Aunt Polly had many dash on medicines what did she has on medicines yes the answer is books B second fill in the blanks Aunt Molly, Polly made Tom 
drink the dash what did he made him drink very easy medicines the answer is medicines i think students are doing great job by answering the questions on their own third fill in the blanks tom dash the painkiller what can be the right word can be fit here tom hated the medicine right he did not like it fourth the cat started dash on its hind legs very easy the cat started to yes you are right it is dancing fifth aunt polly heard the dash and came rushing into the room there are two fill in the blanks aunt polly heard the dash and came rushing into the dash the first is what did she heard noise and where did she went room so the other meaning is other word is room noise and room sixth tom could not give any reason for for what he could not give any reason the reason behind is laugh so the answer is laughing yes so this was fill in the blanks answer 1 books 2 medicines 3 hated 4th dancing 5th has two fill in the blanks in it the first is noise second is room and the sixth one laughing now let's move to exercise c so let's start with exercise c match the following medicine medicine water no heartedly no school no painkiller yes the medicine was a painkiller cold what was cold water yes the water was ice cold laughed how did he laughed heartedly and the last run away run away from where from school so these were the match the following medicine painkiller cold water laughed heartedly and run away school now let's do exercise d so let's start exercise d state true and false i'm going to narrate a statement and you have to guess it whether it is true or false if the statement is true just write true and if the statement is wrong you find the statement is wrong then you have to write false so the first statement here it is aunt polly gave some medicines some medicine to the cat did aunt polly gave some medicine to cat no aunt polly didn't it was tom who gave medicine to cat so the first statement is wrong answer is false second aunt polly made tom drink the painkiller aunt polly made tom drink the painkiller is it true yes it is true aunt polly made tom to drink the medicine so it is true third tom jumped into the air after having the medicine was it tom who jumped into the air after having the medicine no it was 
द कैट हु जम्प इन टू द हेयर इन टू द एयर आफ्टर हैविंग द मेडिसिन सो द स्टेटमेंट इज फॉल्स फोर्थ टॉम कुड नॉट स्पीक एज हिज माउथ वॉज फुल विथ मेडिसिन Tom could not speak because of medicine no he could not speak because he was laughing very hard so the statement is wrong tom could not speak could not speak as his mouth was full with medicine the statement is false the last statement Tom began to feel better without medicine. Yes, when his aunt said that now he did not he did not to drink any more painkiller medicine, he automatically he feel he began to feel better. So the statement is true. So the first statement is false, second true, third false, fourth false. and fifth is true so let's start exercise e exercise e is question and answers i am going to repeat the question i am going to speak out the question and then dictate you the answer and you also have to try the answers you have to also try to answer the questions all right so the first questions here it comes why did aunt polly think that tom was ill what has happened that aunt polly thought that tom was ill do you remember anything from the story yes you are right answer number 1 aunt polly thought so because tom was not able to sleep well he could not eat as much as he used to do he did not want to run away from school he did not want to play and he was troubled and looked sad yes these were the reason that aunt polly thought that he is ill come to second question what was aunt polly newest idea about a boy illness what was her new idea right you are right it is a very funny idea do you remember throwing cold water and all that yes so write down the answer aunt polly newest idea was that when a boy got ill he must bathe in cold water so every day every morning she made tom stand in the yard and threw ice cold water on him after that she wrapped him in a wet sheet and made him lie in the bed this was her newest idea isn't it funny so let's read question number 3 what did tom do with the medicine that aunt polly had given him the answer is When his aunt was not looking he used to quickly pour the medicine into a hole in the floor one day he poured some of the medicine into his pet cat's mouth this is what he did with the medicine question number 4 What kind of noise was coming from Tom's room? Now, do you remember there were two noise coming from Tom's room? First, breaking of things and second, his laugh. So the answer is 
when the cat drank the medicine it started dancing on its hind legs it rushed about the room breaking everything in its path this made lot of noise which this made lot of noise and seeing this scene tom laughed out loudly listening all these things coming out from the room aunt polly rushed into the room question number 5 what was the good news for tom answer is very easy in the last line of the chapter when aunt polly saw the cat running about the room as mad she thought if the medicine is not good for cat perhaps it is not a good medicine for boys so she stopped giving that medicine to tom which was a good news for tom this is all from this chapter i hope you understood the chapter very well you understood all the question answers all the exercises of the chapter happy learning kids thank you and have a nice day